RBTI urine saliva testing. This is the quickest order of doing the test in. It includes calibrating of the refractometer, calibration of the salt meter, and it also includes having to test a salt higher than 28.54C. Calibrate the refractometer. Couple drops of distilled water. Calibration is dead on zero. Complete. Calibrate DIST 6 conductivity meter. Calibration is A-OK. -okay. Calibration of instruments is finished. We will now test the NO3 or the nitrate nitrogen. Six drops. Universal Extracting Solution. One drop urine. Squeeze. Hold and squeeze 120 times or for one minute. We'll watch the second hand. We began at five at one o'clock with the hand on the one.
You may hold it with one hand as well. Whatever is easiest. Sixty seconds is up. That was much more than 120 times. Place one drop in well number three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Place four drops of ammonia nitrogen test solution in well number six. Place one drop of urine universal extraction solution mixture in well number six. Place four drops of nitrate test solution in well number three. Drop them, let it roll down the side at twelve three. 6 and 9 o'clock. It is five minutes after. We need to look at this reading in at about 10 after. In the meantime, we will do the other tests. Now we will do the refractometer. To, we, oh no, excuse me. We will read the ammoniacal nitrate. It is clearly as dark as an 8 slightly forming a nine but not quite about an eight plus you can call that an eight but it is starting to form the outer ring there but it's not quite dark enough to be a nine testing the sugars one or two drops on the refractometer. Looking at it, it is a 4.8. You would write that number down. And I will show you that after on the cards. Drop. One drop of urine in well number one and well number two. Drop one drop of saliva in well number four and well number five. Use your bromthymol blue, place one drop in well number one and well number four. Because these are so clear, you will be able to get the reading of both of these using this pH card. The urine pH is a 6.4. The saliva pH is a 6. Point, it's about a 6.6. We will now do the salt test. We will turn the meter on. We've already uh, uh, calibrated it. We will place it in the urine. The salt meter reads 20. That means that it's, it's over 20,000 micro siemens. We must dilute and multiply our dilute in half and then multiply our answer by two.
Procedure for dilution. You need a new cup. You need to use your graduated cylinder. Pouring in about 30. about 29 there. Two ways of doing this. You can just fill it up to 59 here with your distilled water or you can dump that out and pour it in. I would fill it up. Go by what you had in urine and multiply and then fill up exactly. Pour into another clean glass. Reinsert salt meter. And you will see that your test number now is 12,500 and about 12,470, 460. Uh, micro siemens give or take it doesn't make that much difference when the number is over here we're going to call it 12,470 12,470 divided by 700 equals 17.8 but remember we have to multiply that number by 2 times 2 equals this is a salt of 35.62857143, rounded off 35.6. C. We're going to check the albumen. It's been five minutes. And it has been five minutes. So let us look at our urea. And our urea is going to be Because, of the, because it has filled the complete plate out, and you, but you still see the light ring on the outside, that is an 8. There's still a slight lightness on the outside, and you will notice that it, it's this. It's much more than this because the, this section here has uh, darkened up. But it still had a slight blue here, but it's not completely full. So that is an 8. Well, now look at the... Albumin. And to look at the albumin, you're going to maybe give it a little stir and you'll need a flashlight. This is a 4M plus plus. And that is the complete urine saliva analysis done in about a little over 10 minutes. And the reason it took longer than 10 minutes is because we had to do the dilution factor. But that's how quickly you can run this test in. Thank you very much.